Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Windy Ridge Farm in North Haverhill, and I'm joined by Jeremy Delisle of UNH Cooperative Extension. And Jeremy, for a lot of people, something that breaks up the monotony of winter is watching the birds. And, and so here we've got some examples of bird food, bird feeders. And first of all, I guess, when should I put them out? Right, so uh, we are getting into the second part of December now, and we are in a period where bears should be in hibernation or headed there. Um, generally, Fish and Game recommends December 1st through April 1st to keep your feeders out. So uh, that's the rule of thumb that we wanna go by. Okay, now I see we have several different types of food here. Is this dependent on what type of birds you wanna attract or what? Yeah, absolutely right. Um, so you've got a couple here. This is safflower, uh, which is um, eaten by a, a wide variety of birds as well as black seeded sunflower, uh, which are also um, eaten by a bunch of birds. They're easy to crack. So smaller birds like them, they have a high oil and fat content, which is important for birds, especially in the winter. Okay, and we see something called the peanut nuggets there. Right, right. So this is just another type of um, suet that can be fed. Um, and this has also got a higher oil content. And so important to kind of round out that diet. Woodpeckers, lots of different birds will appreciate this. And um, this is uh, a type of feeder here um, that holds quite a bit of volume of seed and so this is something that would typically be filled with something less expensive like the black seeded sunflower. And it's got a nice squirrel perch here too doesn't it? Right right <laughs> so these move they're uh, stiff enough to hold birds but when the squirrels hit them they slide off and, and can't really get a good grip on those as long as you hang them high enough. Okay and now is a, another example of trying tempted squirrel proofing here in these two? Well so this one here is really designed um, also to hold mealworms so many birds like mealworms again high in protein content and so you can use this for live or dead mealworms and this basically keeps the mealworms from being able to crawl out. Okay and we have another example of oh, this is the one you were just talking about squirrel proof and this is for uh, thistle is it? This is for thistle. Um, goldfinches, pine siskins um, really enjoy thistle uh, also known as niger. Um, very small black seeded um, here are the mealworms, so they come dried in bags, or you can also get live mealworms. Okay, and moving down here, we also have something in terms of, uh, I guess it's rather important to have water for the birds during the winter, huh? Really important, which can be a challenge, and so they make um, hot water, they, basically heaters, um, to prevent the water from freezing, and so these just plug in. You would put them in the bottom of um, some sort of dish, your bird waterer, and uh, they are self-regulating. Okay, and there also, there is a fact sheet there that the Cooperative Extension puts out if you're interested in terms of what type of food for what type of uh, birds. And that's it for today's Grow It Green.